People caught on Milwaukee County property with a small amount of marijuana will only be fined a single dollar from now on. This after the county board approved reducing the fine from $275. But as CBS 58's Mark Stevens found, additional costs and fees mean those tickets will still cost you a pretty penny. He joins us live in McCarthy Park right now. Mark. Jessup, if I light up a joint here on county property and get caught, I face a fine of a dollar plus $141 in court costs. Now, if I'm in Wauwatosa or West Allis, I'm looking at a fine of $500 plus court costs, although that might be changing. We achieve racial equity and we support reductions of other drug uses and we move large financial burdens for many by passing this. County Supervisor Sylvia Ortiz Velez says this policy is meant to cut people a break. Our existing ordinances, many people can't afford the fines and fees associated with marijuana possession. The ordinance change will cost the Sheriff's Department money. The county estimates eight to $15,000 a year in lost revenue. Ortiz Velez says that's okay. We know that prohibition has caused more harm than the substance itself. The county's decision has no impact on Milwaukee or the surrounding suburbs. West Allis will charge 500 bucks for a marijuana ticket, while Watosa between 100 and 500 for the same. But Tosa Council Member Matt Stipich has a reform bill drafted now that the county has acted. This resolution ordinance is not good for the safety and security of our communities. Milwaukee County's decision was not unanimous. Supervisor Patty Logston voted against it, and Supervisor Anthony Stascunas read a comment from a concerned citizen before the vote. The fines are a result of penalties to deter individuals from breaking the law and to keep the community safe. More severe penalties for larger amounts of marijuana still exist on the books, although Governor Evers has proposed legalizing marijuana as part of his budget plan. Live in West Allis, Mark Stevens, CBS 58 News.